Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video we are again shoutcasting battles submitted from a member of the community, and this time we have a meme team shoutcast. I'm really looking forward to it. These battles were submitted by Monsieur Mojo, a frequent contributor and spice lord in the Go Battle League. For these battles, Mr. Mojo is using a line that he has used in the Great League, but this time in Ultra Premier. He's running Skarmory, Umbreon, Toxicroak. While these are very common Pokemon in the Great League, they are less common in the Ultra League. This is an incredibly fun meme team, and he was able to get some awesome wins with it. So without further ado, let's hop into these battles and check them out. We're hopping into the first match here against Delp, and Mr. Mojo is leading Skarmory into Melodic. So this is an interesting matchup. Melodic's definitely a spicier choice for the Ultra League. Turret move coming through. This is just the Surf, so he can safely let that go. Looks like he is building up to the Brave Bird, so he is going to be going for that. My guess is, after throwing the Brave Bird, he's going to be switching into the Umbreon Safe Swap. Lands it, and switches into the Umbreon. And they actually throw the Surf. Let's see how much the Surf does to Umbreon. Absolutely nothing. What an absolute monster. XL Umbreon is ridiculously good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Foul play comes through. That takes it to Melodic. And they bring in a Charizard. So it looks like they don't really have a hard punish to Umbreon. And so XL Umbreon, if the opponent doesn't have a hard punish, is really going to be able to thrive here. So it's going to be in a really, really good spot. Charge move coming through from the Charizard. Shields it up. It turns out it's just a Dragon Claw, unfortunately. Going for another foul play. And let's see what the Charizard decides to do. They do decide to let that go. So that's good. Charizard's from quite a bit of energy. They do decide to let this go. And it turns out it's just a Dragon Claw. So that's perfectly fine. And they swap in a Venusaur. And interestingly enough, brings out the Toxicroak. So it looks like that Mr. Mojo is realizing that the Toxicroak doesn't have a ton of play. So he is going to just go for the Sludge Bomb and then let the Toxicroak be taken out. Because he still has Skarmory in back, which will be able to handle the Venusaur just fine. Yep, that takes out the Toxicroak. Coming in with Skarmory. Okay. And now Skarmory's in a really good spot. All charge moves are double resisted, so Skarmory doesn't have to worry about shielding here. Yep, the Sludge Bomb comes through. They actually swap in a Charizard. He's going to go for the Brave Bird. This is going to be more than enough to take out the Charizard. And then Quick Swap to reset the debuff. And then is able to hit the Foul Play. And that's going to be more than enough to take out the Venusaur. So really, really well played there. As you can see, Umbreon on the safe swap is insanely tanky. My goodness. Hopping into game number two, picks up a really positive lead with the opponent leading Gallade. They switch in Magnezone and switches in Toxicroak. Was a little slow on the switch, so the opponent does get to the Wild Charge. Yep, and they do go straight for the Wild Charge. And he's actually going to go for the Mud Bomb because he does want to secure Switch Advantage. The opponent actually shields, so let's see if he can counter down. Oh, and it's a... Uh, it's a simul faint. So now at this point, he's going to want to wait till it hits zero and come in with the Umbreon. Ooh, and he calls it correctly. Oftentimes, if your opponent has a really negative initial matchup and you tie in the secondary matchup, they'll come in with their third. So if you come in with your third, then you can counter them and keep that positive alignment. So he's in a really, really good spot here. They quick swap into Gallade. And he's actually staying in with the Umbreon. Interesting choice there. And going for the Foul Play. That connects for some neutral. And let's see if he swaps out into the Skarmory, which he does on the charge move. Hopefully trying to catch the close combat. Oh, it's just a Leaf Blade. Oh, brutal. Got baited. That's super unfortunate. Another charge move coming through from the Gallade. And this is the close combat that does a ton of damage. Able to farm down thanks to the defense debuff and is going for the Brave Bird on the Typhlosion. Gets the shield and unfortunately is just farmed down. I definitely see why he went for the Brave Bird because he was a little worried if they snuck and incinerate through that he wouldn't be able to get to the second charge move. But here he should be in a pretty good spot. Able to get to another foul play because incinerate is five turns, takes forever and he's able to take the game. So a positive lead, but he was able to mind game his opponent a, a little bit after the secondary matchup tied and take it from there. All right, hop into the next one. Another really, really positive lead, which is fantastic. They safe swap into Melodic and counter swap into Umbreon. Umbreon is just so incredibly tanky that it just out bulks Melodic at this point. Like you can see that surf did nothing. Like absolutely not a chance. Building up to back-to-back -back foul plays. Snarl generates energy so incredibly quickly. 
And as you can see, Melodic's pretty tanky in its own right as well. Like, this is a uh, tanky battle for sure. <laughs> Another charge move coming through. He's not worried about shielding it. It's Umbreon. It's an absolute beast. Surf comes through. That's fine. Going for another foul play. And we may see a shield here because this is going to be getting the Melodic low. We do see a shield. And they swap back into the Venusaur. Swaps back into the Skarmory. So we are in a good spot here. Ooh, massive damage. And now can safely air slash down. And so now Mr. Mojo has switch advantage and shield advantage. So basically from here, the game's over. They bring out a Weevil. So an incredibly cool pick. Unfortunately, Weevil gets absolutely bodied by Toxicroak. So he's going to let this avalanche through and come in with Toxicroak. Oh no, Weevil, no! Four counters, that's all it took. Oh no, absolutely bodied by Toxicroak. You hate to see it if you're the opponent. You love to see it if you're Mr. Mojo. So good games to the opponent there. Very cool spicy team, but unfortunately got spiced on a little too hard. All right, hopping into the next game here. Skarmory into Muck. This is not the best situation here. Ooh, really nice catching it onto the Umbreon where it's going to be resisted damage. That's a fantastic play. Let's see what the opponent has. Ooh, they have an, ooh, they have an Obstagoon. This is not what you want to see if you're Mr. Mojo. Because Obstagoon, I mean, those last resorts do hit for neutral, but man, Obstagoon is just a tough one. But as you can see, those cross chops are doing super effective damage, but thanks to Umbreon's bulk, it's actually able to survive it, which is really impressive. Going for another last resort. That is getting it lower. And they're going for a charge move on the Obstagoon there. And it is another cross chop. Man, Umbreon, you tanky monster, gets to another last resort. So in the zero shield, it's only a narrow victory for the Obstagoon. Gonna bring in the Toxicroak and with one counter sends it back to the Twilight Zone. All right, let's see what they have. They bring in the Muck. So this immediately tells us that the opponent is very very weak with the last two pokemon two toxicroak there's no reason you would bring in the muck and mr mojo realizes that and shields up the move because the only reason the opponent came in here is if they're exceedingly weak to toxicroak in the back what do they have in the back a tangrowth oh no they are so weak to toxicroak in the back oh goodness the opponent did misplay here, to be honest. They definitely should have brought the Tangrowth into the Toxicroak and saved the Muck for the Skarmory. That, I mean, either way, it's not a good matchup, but now they have a Tangrowth against a Skarmory, which is going to be able to Brave Bird it into the year 3000. So this is not a good look. Yep, Brave Bird coming through, and that's going to be goodbye, Mr. Tangrowth. Thanks for playing. And then the opponent, yep, that's going to be good games. So uh, a bit of a misplay by the opponent, but to be honest, they really didn't have any good answers against Toxicroak. Hop into the next game here, and here we get more of a neutral lead. They swap into a Charizard, quick swap into Umbreon. Okay, charge move coming through, and it is just the Dragon Claw. So really good counting there, since this is a Fire Spin Charizard, as are more common in Ultra Premier, they, it is pretty easy to count. You can see here, oh, looks like a bit of lag, unfortunately. Shielding that up, that was the Blast Burn, so really, really good shield there. And charge move coming through, foul play does get the shield, so now they're on even shields. Another charge move coming through, I think this is just a Dragon Claw. Yeah, they didn't bait there, so there's absolutely no reason for him to shield. Ooh, really nice switch on the charge move by the opponent. They switch into an Obstagoon. Oh no, Toxicroak, say it ain't so. And unless the Obstagoon's running Hyper Beam, then it has absolutely no play against this Toxicroak and is going to be countered all the way down. You just hate to see it if you're the Obstagoon. Yeah, there's just nothing the Obstagoon can do in that matchup. They do bring out the Clefable, going straight for the Sludge Bomb to do massive, super effective damage. Does get the shield. And, ooh, un can't quite make it to the Sludge Bomb. Coming back in with Skarmory, they bring out Charizard. It looks like Switch Timer isn't quite up yet. So it may have been better to wait the 10 seconds, but either way, he still has this game in hand because he still has a shield. 
So he can really safely shield this and then Brave Bird the Clefable to take the game. And as you see here, he is over farming. Oh, it looks like he's actually going for the double sky attack instead. So he's just really not wanting to debuff himself for the charm damage. That makes quite a bit of sense. And so, hey, either way, getting the victory with the meme team. You absolutely love to see it. <laughs> All right, perfect. And we're hopping into the next match here against Stew Master 7. Looks like we have a, a weird visual glitch there where a mudkip showed up for a bit. Okay. They switch into Muck, coming in with Toxicroak. This is a really good matchup for Toxicroak, as the Muck can only hit four resisted damage. I mean, don't get me wrong, that Sludge Wave does a lot, but in a really nice play, over farming with the Toxicroak before going for the Mud Bomb. I really like to see that, and they get to another charge move. And let's see if he was, if he was counting, it's the Dark Pulse, and he's able to survive it. Oh my goodness, what a play there. That is high level. You absolutely love to see it. And Gyarados comes out, and he's bringing out the Umbreon. And this is a really good call, because he had a really good matchup up front. So by bringing out the Umbreon into the Gyarados, then he'll be able to preserve that positive alignment. So really, really well played there. Charge move coming through from the Gyarados. It's Umbreon. It doesn't need to shield. Ooh, outrage. May have wanted to shield there. I, I retract what I said. <laughs> Shielding up the Umbreon, mainly just because he wants to preserve that alignment, and he has a ton of energy. Venusaur comes out, brings out the Skarmory. Going straight for the Sky Attack to start getting those shields away. Oh, and they actually don't shield. Interesting. At this point, Skarmory's not going to commit the shield either. Save the shield for Umbreon. Sludge Bomb coming through, that's fine. But now he's a very healthy Skarmory and an absolutely loaded Umbreon. So from here, it should be pretty straightforward. Going for the Sky Attack. Gets the first shield. And oh, the opponent got too greedy over farming. Oh no, second Sky Attack. And... From here, yeah, it's over. You can very confidently no shield this, and the Umbreon's going to be able to take the game. Farms it down, but the Umbreon does lose CMP, but does have a shield, and then will be able to get off the foul play that is going to be more than enough to take out the Gyarados and give him the game. So a very, very fun team. Thank you so much, Mr. Mojo, for submitting these battles. I absolutely love meme teams and spicy picks, so I really appreciate you submitting those. If you guys have a meme team you've been trying out or just some really, really spicy picks, submit them to me. The, the link should be in the description, or you can just upload them to Google Drive and share them with homeslicehenry at gmail.com. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoy the content, definitely consider subscribing. It's free, and it does help out the channel quite a bit, and I'll see you guys in the next video.